Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 50. In this training module, we're going to be talking about the basics of idle control, understanding what we're trying to go after in terms of the control strategy so that when we're moving forward into the next few tutorials, taking a look at the variations of idle control, so we have basic mechanical control using spark timing for idle control, or working with an idle control stepper motor or idle control motor, such as a pulse with modulated motor, or working with drive-by wire control. We understand these fundamentals and we're gonna carry what we learned in this tutorial into those specific tutorials and in that tuning calibration process for your engine. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our basics of idle control in this tutorial. Now this isn't necessarily going to be Haltech specific, it's gonna go a general approach as to what we're trying to accomplish within the idle control routine. We have various different ways we can implement idle control on our engine. We have a mechanical based idle control where we have no idle control motor or no drive-by wire present on the engine and we can purely dial the idle in based on airflow and spark timing. Now we also have the ability to add an idle control motor, whether it's a pulse with modulated or a stepper style idle control motor, and that's gonna allow us to allow a certain amount of airflow into our engine, and we can control that electronically here through the various programming tables in the Elite. Then finally, we have drive-by wire as another option for idle control. That's where we can actually control the blade opening on the throttle plate to allow a certain amount of airflow in to regulate our idle speed. Now, we're gonna go and take a look at where we can configure those specific details here in the beginning of the tutorial, but what we'll find is that the approach, regardless of whatever our configuration is going to be, is the same. The goal is the same, and the approach is the same. It's just gonna be how we implement the airflow and the spark timing to achieve that idle speed. So let's break this down here in this tutorial. Again, it's just a general, basic approach to idle control, so moving forward into the next few tutorials, looking at our specific conditions, mechanical, idle control motor, drive-by wire, we have a good solid basis coming into those tutorials and looking at the specific details of programming based on the, the, the type that we're working with, but we understand fundamentally what we're trying to accomplish. And that's the goal here of this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is where we can select the different types of idle control we can work with here. That's gonna be found if we move from our idle control tab. This is gonna be everything related to all the idle control tables and we're gonna move into our main page and then we'll go into our navigation tree and then we're gonna move here over into our engine functions section and then we can move down here under idle control. Now, if you don't have idle control turned on in your calibration file for whatever reason, you're gonna make sure under idle here, you're gonna go and toggle on idle control. Now that's gonna allow this to appear here in our navigation tree. If we click on the idle control tab right here, we're gonna find our control method. This is going to be telling the Haltech exactly what to expect when we're controlling our idle. So we have our two wire option and a three wire option. This would be pulse width modulated solenoids. These are idle control solenoids. And the purpose of a pulse width modulated solenoid is that we're pulsing the solenoid between zero to 100% duty cycle and allowing a certain amount of regulated airflow into the engine. You can think of this as a controlled vacuum leak. So we have these type of idle control solenoids. These are found on Hondas, for example, usually run a two or a three wire uh, idle control solenoid pulse with modulated. There are other, other engines that run them, but just off the top of my head, Hondas are gonna be more of the commonly found uh, pulse with modulated style idle control motors. We have ignition only, and this is going to be mechanically based idle control. So our throttle blade on a cable driven throttle body has a, a set screw and we're gonna adjust the set screw to allow a certain amount of airflow into our engine and then we'll control the engine speed via ignition timing. So ignition timing is gonna be the only thing that the Haltech's expecting to actually use for idle feedback. Then we have other options here, four wire and six wire stepper motors. The stepper motor varies from a pulse with modulated motor in that it has a screw and a mechanism that's going to essentially screw in or screw out and it'll allow more or less airflow coming into the engine, a controlled vacuum leak. Same exact idea as a pulse with modulated style solenoid, um, but a little bit more complicated. There's obviously four or six wires, so different idle control stepper motors, uh, different types will have different options here and we'll cover what these all mean in a separate tutorial when we're talking about idle control with a idle control motor. And then lastly down here, 
we have the other option drive by wire this is by far the best option if you have the ability to change your engine over to drive by wire or if your engine's already drive by wire right out of the box this gives you so much configurability and idle is just much easier in my opinion to dial in we'll be talking about and having a separate tutorial working with drive by wire for idle control this is definitely my preferred method whenever possible drive by wire gives so many advantages over a cable throttle body and consistency and repeatability for idle control is just one of the various reasons i like to choose drive by wire and retrofit drive by wire throttle bodies and pedal assemblies to the vehicle i'm working with if they aren't already that way from the factory so we have our different options in here and this is going to be what we choose based on how our engine is configured and how we've wired up our hull tech so now that we understand the different configuration settings, I'm not going to get into any of the specific details here with any of the programming. We have a lot of windows, and a lot of things to talk about here that we will be breaking down again in the next tutorials, looking at these various types of- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.